Hey y'all, I am back with one more installment of what happens when you leave the lid off of your developer. This journey started over a year ago. I took regular generic 20 volume developer and I poured it in a flask and decided to just leave it in my garage with the lid off just like this for months and months. I made a video it. Three months, I made a video it. Nine months, this will be my final video in the series. It was last February when I started this. I actually had two flasks and some of it evaporated and I combined them. But what really happens when we leave the lid off of our developer? The first thing I'm gonna do is just test this developer. It's over a year old, it's just been sitting with the lid on. We can make sure that my equipment is working right. I'll talk to you about this real quick. But I just wanna say, hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoy the content you see on this channel, I talk about hair science. I just talk about the hows and whys of hair. I do tutorials, but I also, really this, this channel started out geared towards professional hairstylists. That doesn't mean you have to be a professional to watch this channel. What I like to do is challenge myths, challenge the things that I've been told, and really put some critical thinking skills to work here with the materials and substances that I work with on a daily basis. But if you enjoy the content that you see on this channel and you wanna see more, let me know. Leave some comments, let's chat. But most of all, do the YouTube thing. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that stuff. Tell your friends, share this video if you enjoy this. That's really what's gonna keep me going and, and ultimately allow me to make more and higher quality videos. I've got a lot of stuff coming up, tutorials, some chemical analysis, some follow-ups on some old videos that I haven't been able to get to. So stay tuned, there's some really awesome stuff coming. If this is your first video in this series, let me introduce you to my very simple equipment that I'm using today. If you've watched the other videos, let me reintroduce you. This is a hydrometer. This is used to test alcohol content, um, oxygen content. What we're really doing is, is measuring the density or specific gravity of a liquid. When it comes to hydrogen peroxide, hydrogen peroxide is H2O2 as opposed to H2O. H2O is two hydrogen molecules, one oxygen molecule that makes water. That's mostly what's in hydrogen peroxide. H2O2 is two hydrogen molecules, two oxygen molecules. So that extra oxygen makes a volatile element that allows us to lighten hair, that allows permanent colors to develop. It is the heavy lifter when it comes to any lightening or permanent color services in the salon. When it comes to our volumes, depending on what country you're in or what systems you're familiar with, you may know this as 20 volume. You may know it as 6%. So by 6%, what they really mean with this type of peroxide, I can pour it out and you can see, it is mostly water. It's pretty much 94% H2O and 6% H2O2. Therefore, this is called 6%. 30 volume or 9% is going to be less water, more oxygen. 40 volume or 12% is going to be 88% water, 12% hydrogen peroxide. When we say volume, what we really mean is that one cc or one milliliter of 20 volume contains 20 milliliters of oxygen that you're able to release. 30 volume is gonna have 30 milliliters of oxygen, 40 is 40 milliliters. But for the rest of this video, we're just gonna talk about volume. So one of the things we're told as stylists is that hydrogen peroxide is very unstable that if we were just to walk away and leave the lid off, that this could jeopardize our entire color service. Something could underdevelop or, or potentially go terribly wrong. And what I've found in, during the course of these videos is that hydrogen peroxide is not nearly as unstable as we've all been led to believe. The first thing I'm gonna do is test the bottle, see what volume is actually inside of this bottle. This is the exact developer that is in this bottle. It's been sitting out for a year. This one's just had a lid. As a side note, I did choose to use liquid developer for this project because it is testable with a hydrometer and you can get a lot more reliable of a reading. And we can see right here, we are just floating lightly above that 20 volume line. Let me move this forward. There we go, we can get a nice view. that we're right around that 20 volume mark. I'm feeling pretty good. We're gonna back. Oh, trying to live dangerously. What happens when you like to live dangerously? 
So now, if you've watched the previous videos, you won't be surprised by this result, but we'll see where we've gotten to. Ooh. All right. Ooh. If you had a prediction, now's the time to comment below what you thought it was. I am hanging out just below the 40 volume mark. You heard me right. 20 volume left out with the lid off for over a year. It is March right now. I left this out in the beginning of February last year. 36 volume. So if I'm at 36 volume, yeah, that should put me right at about um, 11%. Like, eh, right at about 11%. That is insane. So if everything we've ever been told about developer is true, shouldn't this be, like, flat? Shouldn't this be basically water by now? We're told that it's just, it loses all of its oxygen if you leave it open. But instead, it's nearly 40 volume now. So if you saw my nine-month update on this, you know exactly what happened. Let's rewind back to the beginning of this video and remind you, if this is 6% H2O2 and 94% water, the water, H2O, has evaporated, which means that the H2O2 has been concentrated. That's exactly what happened here. So next time you have a color service go wrong, you have to ask yourself, why did this happen? Probably not this, probably not a loose lid on the developer. It's going to be something else. It's going to be your mixing ratio, your timing, uh, your temperature, whether or not you actually followed the instructions. Obviously, I'm not somebody who loves to follow instructions, but I do like to know how things work. So if this helped you out, give it a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, all those things. Thank you for joining me and stay tuned for all the awesome content I have coming up. As always, if you have any requests, let me know. I will get to them as soon as I can. I've got some more experiments, more tutorials, and more good times coming up. I'll see you next time. Thank you.